What am I recording today? It's a glitter ombre. Hello. Pardon the, the rude interruption. Welcome back to Nails by Sora. I figured I'd do a little something different. Um, listen, we've all been there. We've all been um, trying to do... Uh, different versions of an ombre, whether it's a solid ombre or a glitter ombre, a vertical or horizontal, um, some kind of method in which you're blending two colors together to create a middle color and to gently fade um, a color in up, um, down, or across the nail. Um, I had this idea, because I've seen it done before, where people use the ombre brush just to uh, gently move glitter across the nail um, in a reasonable facsimile of an ombre. And I was thinking, can this be done with flat colors? Meaning, can I just gently blend without the rapid flicking and swishing of the, the brush across the nail? Um, can I get it to gently ombre up the nail just by using the ends of the bristles like you would um, gently adjust glitter on the nail? And I thought I was onto something, and I thought it was miraculous, and I thought I had pioneered something, and then I tried doing it. Um, spoiler alert, it didn't work. <laughs> so um, what I decided to do was just to do three different versions of a glitter ombre, and that's basically as I said before, just um, laying a thicker uh, than you otherwise normally would um, blob, blob um, amount of glitter at one end of the nail, either the tip or the cuticle edge, and then using the finer bristles of an ombre brush to kind of scooch it around the nail and get the glitter pieces where you want them. Now, the reason that this works well is because you've got a solid, solid background color. In this case, it's Florida Sunsets uh, by Madame Glam. And then you're just fading one color down the nail. Uh, you're not worrying about blending two colors together. Um, you don't have to worry about... Um, um, smoothing out lines. It's just the um, main gel component of a glitter polish is usually a clear or semi-transparent color that can easily blend into whatever the background is. And then you're just moving glitter pieces around the nail until it naturally fades out. So the way I started this nail is, as you saw, I put a good amount of gel polish at the cuticle line. I pushed it up and around the cuticle line to make it more opaque, and I'm adding some more right now. And then I'm dragging most of it down to the center of the nail, and then I'm taking what's left and pulling it down gently. I'm not pulling it down from cuticle edge to free edge. I am literally pulling it down a little bit at a time, just moving it around the nail until it ends up sparse if not at all um, there once it gets to the other side. I'm not sure that makes sense. It makes sense in my head. Um, but I'm doing it with three different nails, so you'll see it three times. And then after I'm done with each nail, I just do a clear coat, and it's done. You've got a fade of glitter from one end to the other um, with little work and no blending needed. So this is, the glitter I'm using with this one is um, the best year ever, which is an Advent color. It is a Madame Glam color from their Advent box. And then I'm using two subscription colors from Sparkle & Co., um, which is what I'm going in with right now. I've got a pale pink that I'm using, and then the glitter is going to be um, a mixture of two different uh, glitter slash flakies. Um, and then the third one is also going to be another Sparkle & Co. color from their uh, most recent sub bag. Um, 
I don't remember what the color is at this moment, but you will see it at the end. I've used it before in other videos. If you follow me, you will have seen it. Um, that color won't be available for wide release because it is just a subscription uh, gel polish. The ones that I'm using right now were VIP colors that were advanced released to VIP members, but they should now be available um, on the site. So I will link them down below. Um, I think this one is Lux. I don't remember what the other one is, but similarly with um, the last nail that I did, I'm starting at the cuticle line and then I'm just gently going to pull it down um, midway and fade it out towards the free edge. And then the other color I'm going to put in, put on, on, I'm, I'm like a human iPhone. Every time I try to type on, it replaces it with in. Um, but so I'm gently, 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 um, coaching it down the nail. And then with the other one, I'm going to apply to the free edge and um, ombre it in reverse towards the cuticle line.
So that's going to be this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is actually going to be a second video release on the 18th, I believe. So if you're watching this, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Give me a like and a subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you always know when new videos drop. And I will see you in the next video.